I just uh, I just read that uh, there's not going to be a new stimulus. They just said, "Fuck it, fuck it. We're not going to no, no new stimulus. Fuck it." Uh, the Democrats put something out. The Republicans fought it. The Republicans put something out. The Democrats fought it, and then the and then neither neither fucking side did anything. Not that the Democrats' idea was particularly great. I mean, the Heroes Act that they put out over the summer was uh, basically like a corporate handout. They wanted to expand Cobra, which would basically, which would like gut the health insurance industry. Like it would, it would, it, it would charge uh, the regular American people who don't. Who, so a lot of us are struggling. A lot of us don't have, you know, jobs and stuff. They can't go to work. Because we're in a fucking pandemic. Some people are lucky to do that. Some people are lucky to work from home. Which is great. But not a lot of us... Or even if you are working from home, you've lost a percentage of your income. We're in the middle of an uh, eviction epidemic. We're, we're, We're hitting depression. We're beyond depression rate unemployment. And the Democrats are sitting there and going, well, you, you can pay for your health care. We're expanding what you can pay for health care. Instead of just saying, you know what? No, we're going to do the universal health care. If you need to go to the doctor, we got you. The government's got you. This is, this is a time for the government to act and take care of its people. They're like, no, no, no. we got to figure out how to take care of the corporations because the corporations actually run this country. So that, I mean, that was the HEROES Act. Right, and they were again going like one one-time payment of twelve hundred dollars will keep everybody good for nine months. Right, that's how it works. Everything costs a dollar. It's all a dollar in America. I don't know. I'm a hundred millionaire. They're so insanely fucking out of touch. <laughs> FYI, did a video about that too. <laughs> if you're if you're wondering. I did, I, did, uh, I did a breakdown of, of the Heroes Act as well, which, what an insult to, to, to name it the Heroes Act, uh, because it's such a slap in the face, because they call essential workers heroes, but they're not helping essential workers at all. And then you have the Republicans, you have Mitch McConnell going out there and being like, we're going to figure out how to get Americans to work. The Amer- Americans got to get back to work in the middle of... I know there's a global pandemic, and if, and if people actually go back to work at the same capacity that they did before, the, the virus will spread even more and kill a lot more people. But that's, well, we gotta get y'all back to work, cause economy, economy, capitalism, capitalism, baby, Kentucky. Go back to what? What is your uh, no? Fucking, let's make sure that. People aren't contracting this fucking disease, and when they are contracting this disease, they're, like, taken care of and shit. Unhealthy obsession with work in this country, and it's perpetuated mostly by the Republicans, but also by the Democrats, because they're like, we gotta buy American. We gotta get American-made products out there, so we gotta get American to work to make American-made products. So, you know, neither side was happy with, with the other side. And instead of sitting, they, they didn't do their cabal meeting this time around. I don't know. Maybe they, they heard my blood orgy joke that I made a couple months ago. And they were like, ooh, we should probably start stop doing those blood orgies for real. So there, were no, there, there was no leadership meetings. They're, they, they, didn't, they didn't talk to each other. Uh, they didn't do anything. And now they're going on vacation. They're like, we're done till November. Bye. And they don't have shit they need to worry about, by the way. These people don't, don't have to struggle. They have Cadillac health insurance. Uh, they, they are living up in their, in their mansions and they're getting uh, their congressional salaries and uh, their fundraising dollars and uh, lobbyist money and all that kind of shit. And they're, I mean, they're fine. They're fine. But the American people who they were supposed to legislate on behalf of uh, are not. And really what they were disagreeing over 
was uh, state and local funding. That's what they were. That's what they were disagreeing over. How much to fund on state and local level? And then now you have uh, Marco Rubio, who is the Senate Small Business Committee chairman, which is hilarious to me because I really want to know what a fucking Marco Rubio thinks is a small business, <laughs> right? Like, what the fuck do you think is a small business, bro? Uh, he was like, I'm really worried. I'm really worried because I don't know what this is going to do to small business America. It's like, oh, now you all of a sudden you give a shit? Also, what do you think is a small business? Shake Shack? You're worried about small business. If you were really worried about small business, you would fight against your fucking Republican uh, fucking colleagues and tell them to get their head out of their ass and fucking give the American people what they need. But you didn't. These people are out of touch and they don't care because they're they're rich bourgeois assholes. Sorry. They're rich bourgeois assholes is what they are. Nancy Pelosi hurt you here's here's what uh, March 2020 this is what her net worth is. This is what they reported her net worth is. 140 million dollars. $140 million. She's a hundred millionaire living in a mansion with two fridges full of ice cream and she can't... Mitch McConnell, $30 million. Not as much as Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi, I, I believe, is she makes the most. Um, she makes the most. She's they, they, The article I read said that she's the one of the wealthiest of the congressional personalities and Let's be honest. That's what they are. They're not real reg- legislators. They don't represent you or me. None of these fucking putzes do. They're personalities. It's a, it's, it's a fucking reality TV show. You want to know why we have a reality TV show as a president? Because that's exactly what Congress is. That's exactly what the American political landscape is. It's fucking... It's a reality show. It's entertainment. It's not... It's not a government. Keep going. Marco Rubio, two million dollars, right? I mean, these are all hundred millionaires and millionaires. Chuck Schumer, he's got a million dollars. Here's what I think we should do: is uh, if if this is how much these people are making, uh, AOC, by the way, somebody like AOC, uh, one hundred seventy-four thousand dollars, barely anything. Right in terms of in terms of congressional money, what I think we should do is we should take uh, half half of what they make and uh, put that into a fund and uh, whatever that amounts to, we divide it up amongst the American people because I bet you I bet you there'll be enough to cover some money. Maybe that that'll be enough for one twelve hundred dollar check by just taking half of what they make on a yearly basis. ridiculous hey what's up everybody thank you so much for tuning into this video if you enjoyed this content please make sure you like it please make sure you share it and please make sure you are subscribed to this channel whether you're watching this on the YouTubes whether you're watching this on Facebook or uh, or Rockfin which is the cryptocurrency blockchain platform it's ad free and make sure that content creators get paid for the content that they want to make. It's completely uncensored. Whether you're on any of these channels, make sure that you are subscribed and following me for uh, all new video updates. There are uh, videos uh, put up on this channel on a weekly basis, anywhere from four to six videos every single week. Uh, they include uh, news commentary. They include sociopolitical com- comedy commentary, uh, rants, uh, current event stuff, interviews, stand-up comedy clips, There's a ton of stuff that's available on this channel. 
Uh, and if you want to come see one of my live virtual stand-up comedy shows called the Citizen Revolution Live Virtual Stand-Up Comedy Show, you can grab tickets directly off my website at krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. Uh, while you're there, you can also become a sustaining member to get free tickets to these shows uh, uh, and a bunch of cool other uh, bonus stand-up comedy clips uh, while you're at it. And... Uh, you or you can make a one-time donation as well uh, if if that is something that that you would like to do. If the sustaining membership is something that you can do, I know we're in tough times right now, uh, but if you can, that'd be awesome. If not, that's cool too. But the big thing to do is make sure that you are liking it, you are sharing this, and you are subscribed to the channel. Till next time, thank you so much, and we'll see you on the road.